Britain has produced more than its fair share of accomplished actors, from icons of the past like Sir Laurence Olivier and Vivian Lee, to the greats of today like Dame Helen Mirren and Colin Firth. But for many of the UK's great performers, acting was not only their craft, it was their birthright. For instance, it's not so surprising that Benedict Cumberbatch is such a gifted actor, because he's the son of two other talented actors, Timothy Carlton and Wanda Ventham. What other surprise connections are waiting for us in Britain's vast family trees? Let's find out as we count down Britain's top five greatest acting dynasties. Hi, I'm Siobhan Thompson and this is Anglophonia. At number five, we have the Smith-Stevens family. Dame Maggie Smith may be best known by today's viewers as Professor McGonagall in the Harry Potter movies or as the Dowager Countess in Downton Abbey. But the actress also has a storied 60-year career during which she won two Oscars and helped to create one of the UK's most important acting families. In 1967, she married Robert Stevens, an actor so well regarded that at one time he was considered the natural successor to Sir Laurence Olivier. He played Sherlock in the Private Life of Sherlock Holmes, directed by Billy Wilder, considered by some to be the best Sherlock film ever. Maggie and Robert had two sons, both of whom are working actors, Toby Stevens and Chris Larkin. Toby Stevens appeared as the Bond villain Gustav Graves in Die Another Day and as Mr. Rochester in Jane Eyre. Meanwhile, Chris Larkin played Hermann Goering in the film Hitler, The Rise of Evil and Charles Darwin in PBS's Evolution. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call range. The Chaplin Family In 1885, a music hall entertainer who went by the stage name Lily Harley was married to fellow performer Charles Chaplin. Four years later, their son Charles Spencer Chaplin was born. Young Charles went by the name Charlie and became globally famous as a silent film comedian. He went on to direct and star in movies such as The Gold Rush, City Lights and Modern Times, all considered enduring comedy classics. What is less well known is Chaplin's other legacy. He was married four times and had a lot of children. He had two kids with his second wife, Charles Spencer Chaplin Jr. and Sidney Chaplin, both of whom were actors. Sidney even appeared alongside his legendary father in the movie Limelight. Charlie Chaplin linked up with one of theatre's greatest families when he married his fourth wife, Una O'Neill, the disowned daughter of playwright Eugene O'Neill. They had eight children, four of whom were actors and one became a circus performer. And it doesn't stop there. Many of Charlie Chaplin's grandchildren also became actors. Maybe the best known of them is Una Chaplin, who played Talisa on Game of Thrones and also Marnie on BBC America's The Hour. The McGann Brothers Claire McGann, a teacher, and Joe McGann, a metallurgist, had six children, four of whom turned to acting. This Liverpool couple must have been blessed with superb genes, as they produced an uncommonly talented set of sons, Britain's answer to the Baldwin brothers. Paul McGann is, of course, the most famous of the four. He soared to renown in the dark comedy With Nail and I, and was the eighth Doctor in the 1996 Doctor Who movie. He was also seen opposite Idris Elba in BBC America's Luther. Paul's older brother Joe scored a leading role as Charlie in The Upper Hand, a British adaptation of the US sitcom Who's the Boss? And Paul's two younger brothers, Mark and Stephen, have also had extensive careers. Mark McGann has appeared in films such as Shackleton and Endgame, and Stephen McGann can currently be seen playing Dr. Turner in Call the Midway. You can see all four McGann brothers in the miniseries The Hanging Gale, in which they play four sons struggling as farmers during the Irish potato famine. It's great if you love potatoes and cry when they die. As for the next generation of McGann's, well, Paul's son Jake is a prolific voice actor in the Doctor Who audio plays. So stakes raised, Baldwins. The Foxes are British acting royalty. Theatrical agent Robin Fox and his wife, actress Angela Worthington, had three sons, two of whom are actors. Edward Fox's biggest role was in Day of the Jackal, while his little brother James Fox was in Performance and A Passage to India. Edward Fox, along with actress Joanna David, had two children who became actors, Amelia and Freddie. Amelia Fox played Miss Darcy alongside her mother in the BBC Pride and Prejudice miniseries starring Jennifer Ely and Colin Firth. She was also married for some time to Mad Men star Jared Harris, son of the legendary Irish actor Richard Harris. Freddie Fox also appeared opposite Benedict Cumberbatch in HBO's Parade's End. Meanwhile, James Fox had five children, three of whom became actors. Lawrence Fox is best known as Detective Hathaway in the British TV series Inspector Lewis. 
and he just so happens to be married to Billy Piper, who plays Rose Tyler in Doctor Who. Lawrence's sister Lydia Fox is in the film Submarine, and is also married to that movie's director, comedian, and co-star of the IT crowd, Richard Ayoade. And Jack Fox has appeared in NBC's Dracula. So, among the geek set, the Foxes are clearly Britain's first family. But there is one British acting dynasty who exceeds all others, one whose very name is synonymous with great acting. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Redgraves. This family's unparalleled reputation dates back to the late 19th century, when stage actor Roy Redgrave married fellow performer Margaret Scudamore. Their son, Sir Michael Redgrave, became an icon of stage and screen, and appeared in films such as Hitchcock's The Lady Vanishes. Sir Michael married another great Shakespearean actor, Rachel Kempson, and they had three children, all of whom have had very successful and diverse acting careers. Eldest daughter Vanessa Redgrave has won pretty much every acting award known to man, including a Best Supporting Actress Oscar for Julia. Corin Redgrave performed in films like A Man for All Seasons and Four Weddings and a Funeral. Meanwhile, their sister Lynn Redgrave starred in the classic Georgie Girl, for which she received her first Oscar nomination. In 1962, Vanessa married Tony Richardson, the Oscar-winning director of Tom Jones. You may recognize Jolie Richardson from the TV show Nip Tuck. Their other daughter, Natasha Richardson, won a Tony in 1998 for her role in Cabaret and also starred in movies such as The Parent Trap. Natasha has a connection to our previous family, the Foxes, through her marriage to producer Robert Fox, but they divorced and she married Liam Neeson in 1994. Sadly, she died in 2009 following a skiing accident. One of Corin's five children entered the family business. His daughter Gemma Redgrave is best known to Doctor Who fans as Kate Stewart, the daughter of the beloved companion, the Brigadier. So if you're looking to become a respected thespian, you can work hard and hone your craft or just be born into one of these very talented families. Yeah, I just wanted to give you a couple of options. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, read more about this on the Anglophonia blog, and let us know in the comments who your favorite acting family is. You love these videos, just watch another one. Go on.